Alrighty, we're back with a vlog style video. Where's my tripod? All right, we're back with another vlog style video. Hey internet, my name is Mark. If you don't know me already, I'm a student at NYU. I'm studying computer science and linguistics. And over the past two or so years, I've gotten pretty good at time management, or so I think. I've created a system that really works for me. And so I wanted to do a sort of day in the life video of how I manage that time. It was requested on like this video here. I don't know, I thought it would be cool. Short preface about two years ago, exactly two years ago, fall of 2019, I was like, I need to get my stuff together. And so I started iterating over and over again on how to learn, more on that there, and how to organize everything. And I have created, so to speak, a system. Now this system works for me. If you wanna try parts of it, I encourage you to do so. If it works for you, hold on to it. If it doesn't, throw it out. And also this is gonna be, I don't know, not every day is you know productive, so to speak. Um, so Monday, tomorrow might be uh, that. It's 11 36 p.m. Usually I can get to bed earlier, but tonight was not one of those nights. All right, ignoring the Rorschach test <clears throat> of a ceiling in the background. Todoist, real quick breakdown. Uh, you have tasks today, you can see what's upcoming. You can have a bunch of projects on the left here. Uh, I have to do a studios on the channel if you wanna check them out, but that's not really the point here. The point is that when I start planning a day, it starts the night before. It was a rule of thumb that I heard so many people say, and I tried it, it kept working for me. The other, now I'm gonna come back to this in just a moment, but the other thing that we use is the calendar app, uh, a classic, a staple, if you will. So let's go ahead and skip through today. Mark, blur anything uh, that you need to blur. Now, Sunday is here. Let's look at next week and see what's coming up. And this is the day I'm gonna be recording through that you're gonna be watching. Uh, in theory, stick around. Quick breakdown, I've made a time blocking video if you wanna check that out. Um, we have purple is, is classes, so those that can't change and the rest of my schedule kind of builds off of that. So I'm just looking, okay, head to Bopes, which is the library at NYU. I actually need to head straight to the building that the class is in at 9.50, so I have a little leeway. 9.30 is my linguistics for cognitive science. I have done most of the readings for that. I have one to finish. Studying Japanese afterwards, however, and this is just me vocalizing my thoughts here. I have a technical interview that's live at 2 p.m. tomorrow, um, and I guess it's gonna be an hour and a half, yikes. Uh, second one, kind of exciting, but um, I know I need to be home for that. Quiet space, I know I won't be disturbed, so on and so forth. And then I have <laughs> five hours of tutoring, which is, my job. I'm a part-time student. Both of my classes are graduate. I don't really know if that's important. So looking at my calendar, this is the stuff that is concrete. I can look at my calendar and say, okay, I know that there are going to be things in here I need to account for. So then I look at Todoist. When we come to the day before, I can go ahead and look at my tomorrow filter and see, okay, what's going on? Figure something to do for Tuesday. Yeah, make an announcement. I think I need to do that. Japanese study session. That's a repeating task. Apply for British passport. This is something I just put in to do probably like two or three weeks ago, but I don't want to do it tomorrow. So I'm going to push it to Thursday. And then I'm going to leave this as overdue because I do want to do that tomorrow morning. Uh, I read Anthony's, just want to read Chris's. It's quite long, but it's good. Now, one quick honorable mention is Trello. Now I use Trello for two or three main projects, really. This is the Cat on Arcade, uh, which whatever. Then this, this is the lifestyle channel. So how I manage my time writing and editing. August 16th was when I started the blog page devlog. Ideally, you know, I have Todoist for all the, you know, I check back here for what I need to work on. If I sit down and I say, I'm going to work on Mark's side, click on here. Next thing to work on is the ability to log in. Great. And the calendar is just the overview of the week, right? Now I'm keeping this informal for two reasons, more or less. The first is just that I'm not trying to make this a tutorial. You know, I, I know that my system won't work for everybody else. People prefer Notion, right? Or they really don't like to do it, whatever. But also because it's impossible to show my entire system, so to speak, in one video. For Seashell, I use Notion pretty heavily. For the, this channel in Catano, I use Trello. If I'm looking at a day that's gonna be heavy on editing, it's like tomorrow is a Monday and I have an interview in class and tutoring, it's gonna look different from my Thursday where I have tutoring, class, and then parkour. Now, another reason that I'm not going so in depth here is because this is the this is the iteration of the system I'm currently on and I've been on for a while. And while it will change, it probably won't change in any huge meaningful way. And so, but the problem is I'm so used to it. There are going to be things I just forget to explain. And it's just a part of the system. This is just a vlog, day in the life. I hope you enjoy. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. If you'd want to see me do a Thursday or something, that actually sounds like a good idea. I'm still enjoying the video thing. So thanks again for clicking and I will see you tomorrow morning with nothing flashy. <laughs> All right.
right, it is, uh, what is it? Is it Monday? Is it Friday? I don't know. Everything is in terms of like today, yesterday, like in three days. There is no more Monday, Tuesday. My breakfast. Uh, if I get to campus early enough, I'll stop by the dining hall and get food. I would encourage everyone though to prioritize like eating on time. I'm not doing a good job at that right now. Where is my phone? It is 6.50, so I woke up at 6.30. To this bad boy. Beep, 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 beep. Now, getting six hours of sleep is not a normal thing. Uh, when I get back, I will be taking a 90 minute nap. Some days I sleep until like 7.30 or eight, simply because I don't have anything until that. I need to leave in like five minutes for campus, but I quickly wanted to talk about how I put time in four things. You know, what gets a spot of my day. Things are effectively divided into three things. We have one, the priorities, one, uh, two, <laughs> the commitments, and three, everything else. I, for a while, thought about this as external deadlines, internal deadlines, and fun. It was kind of iffy. So external deadlines, or the priorities, are the things for school. They have a deadline which I don't have control over. Someone else, something else is saying, you need to get this done. Internal deadlines, or commitments, are things that I want to get done very badly. For example, Japanese has a segment of my day almost every day of the week and on weekends and I listen to Japanese music and podcasts because I want to learn Japanese. Markside, Twitless, Minecraft plugins, these videos, those are commitment. Uh, they're something I am committing myself to. No one is telling me I have to do them. And then the third thing is everything else. So countdown videos, you know, uh, during tutoring, I'll get that countdown video done. Playing Pokemon Pro with the boys. It was super fun, but nothing is relying on it. I don't really hold myself accountable to get it done this week or next week. Ideally, it gets done for tomorrow, but we'll see. I encourage you to also think about these kinds of splits for yourself, because you shouldn't treat everything equal. If you have 10 choices, you will paralyze. You will, the analysis paralysis, you will freeze on which choice to do, or at least I did. And one thing to do is, you know, this external, external deadline, internal deadline thing, or priorities and commitments. I have a distinction, some people probably don't, but I need to pack up, maybe record some fancy B-roll on my phone, make this somewhat of an actual video, go to in-class tutoring, go to actual class, and then come straight back for a nap, Japanese, and then some mental prep for my interview. make it back but I'm very tired so I'm gonna take this Japanese block over over here that's about that's supposed to start now and go take I'm gonna set an alarm for 30 minutes might turn into an hour hopefully not 90 minutes but we'll see so I'm moving Japanese to 1230 and then interview prep 1 15 because my interview is at 2 it's important to have enough time in your day that you can be dynamic uh, if everything is structured too concretely, then whether you're tired for a nap or the train doesn't run, for example, you're kind of screwed. Also, it can be unhealthy to do that on a very, very consistent basis if you're always on. All right, it is 1.06 p.m. My nap did take about an hour and about 10, 15, an hour and 15 minutes, a 75 minute nap. I feel much better, that's for sure. So one quick note is simply, I'm totally fine with napping in the day. It doesn't feel like I'm losing anything because you need to sleep, <laughs> just in general. Uh, you can't watch TV and re feel recharged, right? And it's better to take a, you know, for me at least, I think it's more important to take a 70 minute nap and do 15 minutes of Japanese study instead of sludging through an hour of Japanese study, you know, falling asleep while I'm studying, losing my train of thought, whatever. 15 minute study session of Japanese that I'm about to jump into will be much more fruitful now that I am alive, awake, alert, and enthusiastic. You know, every day ends up being different. That's just the core of it. And when you have a system that works, kind of, you can fall back on it. It functions as it should. So my system now 
is prepared for me to handle uh, having a tech interview, having a nap because I went to bed late and woke up early. It's also prepared to have, now this can't really happen anymore, but if a class is canceled because of too much snow, it'll just go remote now, but in the old days, two years ago, we would have just canceled the class and my current system allows for this extreme where all of a sudden I'm given uh, and two extra hours in my day, I can go look for something and find something to work on. Whether it be a fun thing or a commitment, it'll probably be one of those two since my priorities should already be planned out. When you have a system that works for you, it kind of just functions. And I truly believe that the only reason I have a system that works for me is because I iterated for about two years. So if you're watching this and you're kind of trying to look for your own thing, just try everything. Even if you don't think it'll work, give it a shot. You might get something that works for you. Even though I don't use Notion in my day-to-day -day planning, it has still given me a few useful tips for how I can structure my Trello boards or my to-doist days. And I will wrap up the video with a end of day reflection that I sort of do. Uh, <laughs> I try to cut myself off at a certain hour, but it just it just doesn't work. I've tried that so many times and I'll try it again, but as of right now, it's not working. See how the day went, what, can I, what I can improve for tomorrow, what I need to move around for tomorrow, what might need to be moved from tomorrow to later in the week. Why is there a match behind me? Don't worry about it. Interview did not really go all that well, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know, uh, god damn it. <laughs> I was expecting something totally different. I was expecting them to go, uh, this isn't about that. I was expecting them to go over React code and stuff. Maybe it was the nerves, whatever. You know, I got pretty far. I'm sure there's a non-zero chance they'll reach out. But that aside, feeling a little down. Uh, this has just turned into a day in the life of how I manage my time. It's 3.59 p.m. at five, I start tutoring for three hours and then another class tutoring for two hours. So five hours straight of tutoring. Uh, I'm gonna go get some food. I'm hungry and I know I'm going to be hungry. My mind is racing, so I'm gonna go get a pizza or carbs, something to hopefully slow me down, put me in the rest and digest phase. I imagine Python tutoring tonight will be kind of busy, so I'm moving the semantics P set um, until a little before that. You know, I can either say I'm gonna lie down for a minute uh, or I can say I'm gonna get my mind off this and focus on work. So I'm gonna do both. I'm gonna go get food and then I guess do some more Japanese. It kind of ties into like if you're tired, don't push yourself too hard. Um, it'll take the rest. But at the same time, I think I'm not, I'm bummed out. I'm gonna be over it in a day, two days. Live and learn, need to practice more. There doesn't need to be a lesson here. This is just how I manage my time. And right now I plan to do one thing and I need to take my mind off it. So I'm gonna go get food and then do Wani Kani, look at Japanese uh, and begin tutoring. But yeah, the last real relevant thing is how I close out my day and get ready for the next day. Okay, my camera had a weird setting. Hopefully I didn't lose much. I'm applying for jobs. <laughs> Japanese looks like it's gone out the window tonight, which is unfortunate, but it's okay. I will be completing Wani Kani. But I've been applying to jobs. This motivation, this incentive came along to apply for jobs. And so I'm just making use to it, getting five or six applications out tonight. As the saying goes, planning is essential, but plans are useless. Uh, planning to get stuff done. But if you have concrete plans that have one thing uh, overturned, uh-oh, <laughs> uh, you're screwed. So it's nice to have these open blocks where I can say, here's a bunch of stuff I can do, but you know, life goes on. Okay, I just was talking for like <laughs> two hours straight uh, and I get to do more talking now. So this video I realized has slowly derailed from somewhat structured to day in the life to Mark rambles throughout his day. So the last part of every day is, it's currently 10 or 9 p.m. I just finished tutoring. I did the semantics P set first pass thing, just a bunch of truth tables, did not take very long. Originally, the end of every day was, whatever didn't get done today, we move to tomorrow, we work with it then. But a friend reminded me a while ago that like, you can also just, you know, real quick, recap what you finish at the end of the day. So, all right, mic quality will change because I have an actual mic. So this is to doist. This is everything I've done and haven't done today. So on the top right, we've done my daily goal of eight out of eight tasks. Fantastic. This is just a nice reminder, you know, what did I do today? Plan something out. Uh, I did some assignment stuff. I did tutoring. Sweet. I made my goal a nice acknowledgement that today was a good day. And hey, sometimes some days are zero days and that's okay too. What's left? What is here? Mark's side blog page, right click, I'm gonna hit tomorrow. The coding interview was unfortunate, but it is something I still wanna work on. So if I look at my calendar tomorrow, we got a lot of blank space here. I need to leave for campus at nine. We got some tutoring. I have to help out with some agile stuff. So I'll go ahead and look at tomorrow on Todoist. I'll hit Q, sorting out groups for agile. 
So we then do a little cross comparison or whatever. I wake up at eight and leave for campus at nine. I can be there at 10. This is empty space. I'm gonna leave it as empty for now, but that's when I can maybe do uh, the Wuppercar Tom Omen thing. Uh, finishing up semantics problem set. Doesn't look it's gonna happen tomorrow. Just go through this really quick. Okay, so now we're at 13 tasks. <laughs> so this video is officially going up Thursday. Um, I'll label these tasks later, but tomorrow, 12 tasks. Nice refresher. Just quickly says, okay, this is all the stuff I want to do tomorrow. Bunch of semantics homework still. Um, actually, you know what? Finishing semantic piece set will make it a priority one, and then we make it due on Wednesday, because Wednesday only has four tasks due. Honestly, not going to have time for Mark's side tomorrow, as unfortunate that is. So all of a sudden we're at 10 tasks, uh, and this is just the system. So now I have what seems to be a manageable amount of things to do. Today then, this email, I wrote it. There is something I need to reword, so I'm gonna hit tomorrow. And I wanna leave this as overdue because I really wanna read their stories. <sighs> oh man, <laughs> comparing with the calendar again, it's just everything has some sort of time slot, so on and so forth. I'll get back from parkour pretty late, so. <sighs> Probably won't schedule anything for that. Um, <laughs> But yeah. All right, and a bit of a recap. So this video was intended to be just how I manage my time. Originally, I wanted to maybe go over some of the systems I use, which is what I started out with, and how my time management adjusts and shifts throughout the day. When people actually show up for tutoring, I am busy tutoring. But when people don't, I am doing some commitment stuff. And at the end of the day, I just look ahead and plan it out. Doing this on Wednesday probably would have been better, seeing as I have a class, Japanese study, agile tutoring, call, more tutoring, and then some empty work to finish up my semantics problem set, which was supposed to be Wednesday anyway. And I want to end on a final note. This is probably what my average day looks like. In the morning, grinding something. Uh, I took a 70 minute nap because I was so tired. I'm going to get to bed on time tonight, I hope. I, I'm so behind on my reading. And my time management is all in all a combination of Todoist calendars and then Trello for project management. The biggest thing that has helped me is simply using some software. I know I've said this so many times, but the most important thing when you're finding a productivity system is to just find something that works for you and hold on to it. And for things that don't work for you, throw them away. I used to be someone who would keep track of everything. Homework assignment due in two weeks. Okay, due on Friday. But then I told myself, oh, I'll work on it tomorrow. I'll work on it the next day. And I never had just the ability to understand, you know, what is coming up tomorrow. So then I started using Google Calendar, then Trello, then Todoist, then Notion, then back to Todoist and stop. And again, just constant iteration to some system that I've just stuck with and it works for me. Will it change in a few months? Undoubtedly. Will it change in years? Drastically. This is just how I manage my time. If you're going to take away anything from this video, A, try new things. B, use something to get things out of your head. It is so nice to wake up tomorrow morning and know that I, I have what I'm doing today. So I wake up Tuesday and I can say, great, doing this, I have class, private tutoring, helping out with this Japanese study. There's a voice in the back of my head that says, but Mark, you have a, a semantics problem set due on Thursday. But yes, voice, I have already planned out to finish that on Wednesday. In fact, I'm, my first pass tonight was pretty good. And so writing stuff out, breaking it down, setting an official deadline, ooh, a video due Thursday, yay, yay, yay. I'll start editing tomorrow, whatever, hopefully. I boy. <laughs> so yeah, if you got something from the video, I'd love to hear it in the comments down below. Uh, definitely curious on what people thought, if this was helpful. Uh, I, th I think I might do another one of these because today just, <laughs> whew. Um, but it was fun. I have more student life content coming out, what it's like to take graduate classes in linguistics, uh, stuff like that. If you want to see something specific, let me know. I'm here for another four months. Uh, or at least I'm a matriculated student for another four months. So thanks so much for watching yet again. Uh, check out some other content on screen here. Have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome. See you next week.